This well-known star is about to explode. Astronomer John Herschel was looking through his telescope at the heavens in 1836 when he spotted something peculiar occurring to a star called Betelgeuse. It was modifying its behavior in ways that astounded him. Other astronomers began to notice this star's unusual behavior as time passed. It was noticed by ancient people as well. Aborigines in South Australia reported over a thousand years ago that Betelgeuse would occasionally turn brighter or dimmer. Actually, this was before the Herschel's discovery. Scientists initially doubted that people could detect these shifts in star brightness without the use of specialized equipment. However, new evidence suggests that they may have been correct. Scientists believe they know how stars like Betelgeuse will die. They believe that one day it will suddenly become significantly brighter, followed by a supernova explosion. The night sky as we know it will be altered by this explosion. And some Japanese and Swiss scientists believe it could happen soon. Follow me in this video to learn more about it. Trust me, it's going to be a better explosion than Oppenheimer's. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. Betelgeuse, Identikit Betelgeuse, a star in the constellation Orion, is a fascinating celestial object that captivates both astronomers and pop culture lovers. Its extraordinary size and different properties distinguish it apart from our sun Betelgeuse is very enormous in terms of size. Its radius is estimated to be 1,000 times that of the sun. To put that into perspective, if we replace the Sun with Betelgeuse, its surface would reach beyond Mars' orbit. Because of its enormous size, it is one of the biggest stars ever discovered. But size isn't the only thing that distinguishes Betelgeuse. It also has a distinct temperature. Betelgeuse has a significantly cooler surface temperature of roughly 6,500 degrees Fahrenheit or 3,600 degrees Celsius than our Sun, which burns at a blistering 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit or 5,500 degrees Celsius. Betelgeuse's stunning red color is because to the lower temperature. Surprisingly, this contradicts our perception about color and temperature. Hotter atoms are frequently associated with a crimson glow. However, in the immensity of the universe, the blue stones are the hottest stars. The colder stars, such as Betelgeuse, appear red. The color temperature relation is a remarkable phenomenon that plays an important role in star classification. Most stars in the universe are found in pairs, known as binary stars or in numerous systems. Betelgeuse, on the other hand, is a lone wolf. It is a single star, just like our sun. Don't you think they'd make a great couple? This gorgeous red behemoth, which proudly resides in the constellation Orion, lends a brilliant light to the night sky. It is simple to locate. Simply look for Orion's shoulder and you will see Betelgeuse with its distinctive crimson color. Its brilliance and striking color make it difficult to overlook. However, when Betelgeuse goes supernova Orion will never be the same, it will lose a shoulder, forever altering the shape of the constellation. Betelgeuse is approximately 640 light years away from Earth in terms of distance. Consider this, light, the fastest entity in the universe, travels from Betelgeuse to us in 640 years. To put this in context, our sun is only 8 light minutes away. Let's throw some science fiction into the mix. If we could place a mirror on Betelgeuse and somehow master the technology to have it reflect towards Earth, the signal would take 1,280 years to reach us. You would witness Earth's state 1,280 years ago in that signal, a wonderful journey across time. The dazzling lone star Betelgeuse captivates us with its splendor and distance. It serves as a reminder of how enormous and awe-inspiring our cosmos truly is. Betelgeuse, a member of the elite category of M-type red supergiants, depicts the glorious end of a huge star's life cycle. Betelgeuse, having exhausted its core hydrogen, began a captivating transition into a dazzling red behemoth, its center filled with the fusion of heavier elements. 
This dazzling celestial display, however, is only a precursor to the great finale that awaits a cataclysmic supernova explosion of epic proportions, may be visible even through the brilliance of sunlight from our lowly planet Earth. Betelgeuse has surpassed the confines of science and reached the realms of popular culture in addition to its astronomical significance. Its name pronounced Betelgeuse derives from the old Arabic phrase Yad al jauza which means hand of the central one. Because of its conspicuous position in the Orion constellation, this dazzling star has risen to renown, becoming an iconic reference in cinema, literature, and even astrology. The intriguing story of Betelgeuse's mysterious dimming in late 2019 captured the world's attention, sparking concerns of an impending supernova outburst. Let us now delve into the heart of this heavenly mystery and investigate the causes of Betelgeuse's approaching eruption. What forces are at work within this bright creature to cause such a massive cosmic event? Dimming before the explosion. We need a pinch of stellar evolution theory to grasp why and how a star like Betelgeuse ends its life by becoming supernova. However, we will leave the tedious portion to the astronomers and concentrate on the exciting stuff. Because of the way stars use up their fuel, stars like Betelgeuse inevitably go supernova. These massive stars, like our sun, produce energy by burning hydrogen in their cores. However, because they are larger, they consume more gasoline. They eventually run out of hydrogen and must resort to burning heavier elements. This process generates even more energy, but it also places strain on the star's core. When you blow up a balloon too much, it becomes unstable. The star's outer layers are now crushing down on the center like a large blanket. When the core can no longer withstand the pressure, it collapses in an instant. This collapse results in a massive explosion known as a supernova. The abrupt and dramatic dimming of a star like Betelgeuse indicates that it is undergoing major changes deep within. And when those changes result in the core collapsing, the supernova explodes into a beautiful and dazzling event in the sky. But how precisely does this dim occur? Stars like Betelgeuse, for example, do not have uniform brilliance. They have varied sections on their surfaces that can be hotter or cooler, and they may even have spots similar to our sun's sunspots. These variations are typical and are what cause the star's brilliance to shift somewhat over time, as measured by Herschel. These alterations in the star's outer layers are not directly related to the upcoming supernova, but they do indicate that the star is undergoing some complex processes. When a dramatic dimming is discovered, a smart scientist studies the variations with telescopes and instruments to try to figure out what's going on inside the star. Before we continue, please let us know if you liked or disliked the video so that we can improve it for you. The Enormous Darkening the most bizarre event occurred in 2019. Betelgeuse became more brighter than normal, which alerted astronomers all around the world for the reason stated above. The occurrence is now referred to as the Great Dimming. Because Betelgeuse cycles are quite regular, this dimming was quite exceptional. There's one in particular that takes a little more than five years to complete. On top of that is a shorter, more irregular cycle that lasts anywhere from a year to 1.5 years. While these shifts are simple to detect with ground-based telescopes, they do not create the kind of extreme changes in the star's brightness that would account for the variations observed during the dimming event. People from all across the world aimed their telescopes at the sky hoping to get a glimpse of this unique occurrence. If Betelgeuse had genuinely died, it would have been a historic occurrence. Consider a star suddenly growing brighter than the full moon, making a spectacular display in the heavens. Witnessing a cosmic explosion would have been a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The explosion would have unleashed enormous amounts of energy in the form of light and radiation, transforming Betelgeuse into a new star in the night sky. This incredible spectacle would have been visible even throughout the day, grabbing the attention of millions of people. This cosmic spectacle would have gradually faded away for weeks, if not months, as the energy of the explosion diminished. This spectacular spectacle would have fascinated both astronomers and sky observers. 
The study of the explosion's aftermath would have offered scientists with priceless insights into the lives and death of stars. It had the potential to be a watershed moment in our understanding of the universe. The star is still visible for years later. Orion's shoulder is still there. Although Betelgeuse gradually recovered to its normal brightness, the enthusiasm surrounding the occurrence reminded us of the cosmos' enormous marvels. It emphasized the ongoing surprises and mysteries that await us in the night sky, encouraging us to continue looking up and discovering the unknown. After extensive analysis, it was discovered that the star's fading was caused by a variety of factors and was not simply a precursor to the occurrence of a supernova. Although the initial excitement has subsided, it is critical to recognize that the exact time of such an event remains unknown. As a result, it is prudent to stay informed and prepared as the explosion may occur in the near future. Alternatively, you may educate future generations so that they can experience the sight after a loved one passes away. New Study Findings As previously said, stars like Betelgeuse are amazing celestial phenomena that mix elements together at their core, forming new ones. This fusion process causes changes in the brightness of the star. The energy emitted by the star is constantly battling gravity, causing the star to pulse. It's a cosmic tug of war. Scientists have been examining these pulsations to learn more about Betelgeuse's life cycle. Scientists from Japan and Switzerland determined that Betelgeuse is currently fusing carbon into heavy elements rather than using hydrogen as fuel by applying smart models. This discovery is significant because it indicates that Betelgeuse is reaching the end of its life. The analysis forecasts that it will go supernova within the next few decades, possibly during your lifetime. You might think a few decades is still a long time, but it's actually a significant increase above earlier projections. Initially, scientists predicted that Betelgeuse will go supernova in a time range, ranging from 10,000 to 100,000 years. As a result, this new revelation is both exciting and alarming. It could suggest that the countdown to Betelgeuse's dramatic climax has begun and we have a front row ticket to watch this spectacular cosmic show. I'm very excited, how about you? Alright, this video has come to an end, thank you for tuning in everyone. What are your thoughts on Betelgeuse's explosion? Please let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by pressing the notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos.